Mm. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down 20. You get the Nasdaq up four. S&Ps are flat. Now let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. And of course, don't forget, folks, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming right here at TFNN, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, we go from 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. Steve does a great show every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter called Mastering Probability. Uh, now, coming up on September 14th, you just heard the promotion, September 14th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., Steve is doing a workshop for his subscribers. You can be a subscriber right here, right now. The way you do it, you're going to go over to our website at TFNN. Uh, it's $49. That's a $100 discount that you're going to get. You're going to get a great newsletter for a month, and you're going to have a, get, get a great workshop. We're going to talk to Steve right now about what is going to be in that workshop. Steve Rose, what's going on? Hey, Tom, and they get to use their Tiger dollars, right? That, there's no Tiger's doubt. Dollars. There's no yeah. doubt, man. That's right. You just remember those Tiger dollars are good for everything at TFNN, folks. Yep. Yeah, that's that, that's a beautiful thing. You know, so a week from today, uh, it, what's, what's really great is that one of the additional services that each of us provide our subscribers are these different workshop events. And yes. so, as, as you mentioned, a week from today, uh, between uh, 5 and 6 p.m., I'm going to be uh, hosting a, a workshop called The Ultimate Reversal Patterns. Now, last week, uh, not last week, last month, about uh, four or five weeks ago, I hosted an event for subscribers, really well attended, got just um, extraordinary feedback because in one hour, and this is also a one hour workshop, okay. I was able to really condense um, Japanese candlesticks, what it is that uh, traders, subscribers really needed to know and understand so that they could really put those to use. And uh, so that was last, and this is really a follow up as to different ways to be able to use that type of uh, education. And the, the subscriber event before that, we focused on what I refer to as the oscillator on change line. And okay. that's a level where we know, I, I know by looking at a chart in a heartbeat, whether the price oscillator is rising, which is the difference between two exponential moving averages, and it's because of this red line on my screen. So yes. gold, if gold continues to pull back, 1338 for me is a make it or break it point for uh, support out there. But in this workshop, a week from today, we're going to cover um, Tom DeMarc's, part of Tom DeMarc's systems. Uh, it is TD setup. It's a nine count yes. uh, that uh, absolutely folks want to understand and know. And the cool thing is some some, some subscribers have identified for me that with inside the Thinkorswim platform, uh, they can just turn on something that's called sequential. And yes. it, it provides them with that information. So that's, so if, you know, if you're a Thinkorswim platform, user, you certainly want to attend this workshop. I'll show you how to trade that along with TD Sequential, the TD Combo uh, count out there. And then we're going to really master the Gartley buy and sell patterns, which is really focusing on uh, being able to buy and sell that D point of that lightning bolt, that A to B equals CD pattern. And then my favorite pattern, which is price relative strength, when we see these divergent patterns out there. And the reason that these patterns are so important is because they truly help us to identify tops and bottoms inside the market. For example, gold just a few days ago actually formed a Gartley buy pattern. So it's going to be really interesting to see how gold plays out. Now, in a Gartley pattern, Tom, there's five different outcomes. In this case here, gold has already achieved two of those. So from a trader's standpoint, the pattern worked. It identified a bottom. Uh, we're at outcome number two inside that pattern. Whether or not we get to outcome number three, only time will tell. Um, and when I take a look at gold as well, at the same time, this is a daily chart that we're looking at. Yes. At the same time that gold was forming that Gartley buy pattern, that was confirmed with that uh, bull, bullish engulfing candle, it was also making one of uh, Tom DeMarc's uh, nine counts, one of his setups. In fact, if we take a look and we come back in June, as gold was moving lower, it formed another nine count. As go as uh, gold went ahead and moved higher, a nice move up into the uh, middle to uh, about three quarters of the way through June, another nine count before we saw a uh, pullback. So putting all these patterns together is so helpful for traders. And they work on all different instruments, right? all different time frames. In fact, the most recent high that we've seen out here, which is one of Tom DeMarc's uh, most favorite patterns, is uh, it formed a, uh, a TD sequential. That's where you see the uh, 13 labeled on my screen out here. And so folks will want to, uh, if they're active traders, they certainly want to be able to take advantage of this. And these are tools that are also included in my daily newsletter service. So, and I cover so many different vehicles, it helps subscribers to understand where we're at inside of the market. For example, 
the semiconductor index. The semiconductor index back in uh, March, April of this year formed one of his uh, TD combo counts. That's a, a red 13 that happens to be on my, on my chart. We saw a nice uh, pullback uh, from there inside the semiconductors. Uh, if, if somebody were to say, okay, Steve, that's great, but what's the Dow doing right now? And here is a chart for the Dow Diamond. So I've, I've used some of the futures contracts. We used an index. Here's a daily chart for the Dow Diamonds. When it formed a high back here, looks like, uh, boy, was this is not too long ago. Looks like in uh, June, during, well, during this consolidation period, we get a okay. nice little nine count out there. As it moves lower, another nine count. And what we saw here just a few trading sessions ago, four or five trading sessions ago, formed that little nine count. Now, for me, inside... If the if the Dow is going to and the Dow is a little bit weak out here in the market, if the Dow is going to move higher, the number for folks to watch inside the diamonds is 185.55. That happens to be that oscillator and change line again, a tool that subscribers uh, utilize and is included inside the uh, newsletter service. The New York Stock Exchange, so a real interesting time period where you're right, we've been moving sideways. It's like the bulls don't have control and the bears don't have control. Well. Yesterday, there's really a couple of interesting patterns here. Inside the New York Stock Exchange, yesterday was actually one of Tom DeMarks' his, his TD sequential count. Now, what we really want to, and, and he trades it a little differently. Uh, when, I, when I've read through all of his materials, he gives different tools that you can use to be able to trade it to the long side or the downside. What's interesting is when I applied some of my own tools, I found something that was more significant, something that was better at giving us the uh, signals out here, and that is that red line that is on my screen right now. So we've gotten signals. These signals can fail. There's no question about it, and that's why we wait for confirmation. Confirmation that the New York Stock Exchange would be ready to turn lower would be trading down below, trading down below that oscillator and change line. So uh, here are some. Here's a, here's the euro. So here's the euro futures, and we can see the different Tom DeMarc uh, uh, tools that are in play out here. So it works on all instruments, all time frames. We're also going to cover and master the work of H.M. Gartley. We talked about how uh, gold, this happens to be from the page, page 222 of his uh, book out there. And, uh, you know, the New York Stock Exchange, from a weekly perspective, and this is hard to do. You mentioned bonds making an A to B equals CD to the downside and how difficult, how, 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 how unoften. Uh, we see that the New York Stock Exchange on a weekly basis also very difficult to form a Gartley pattern. But that is what it did at the January bottom this year. And since then, we've seen quite a move. So there is definitely the fight on between the uh, bulls and bears. If we take a look at some of the technical signals out there in the New York Stock Exchange from a weekly basis, I need to see a close below 10,764.51. That was the number as of about a half an hour ago before we can say that it is the uh, bears that are in control of the market. So what I want folks to do is come on over to the homepage of TFN.com. It's going to be a week from today. It's going to be an extraordinary. It's going to be a great event. Uh, don't worry if you can't be there because we place these on your members page for the next 30 days and you'll be able to go back, replay it get in contact with me if you have any questions and uh, it's just simply it's it's an honor to be able to provide this type of service to our uh, subscribers out there so tom i say thank you to you thank you brother man and folks you go right to tfnn you're gonna see it right in the front mastering probability subscri sus subscriber workshop september 14th sign up right now that's a huge amount of information folks that you're gonna absolutely love steve you have a great one and a safe one of course we look forward to the show tomorrow thanks tom take care stay right there folks come right back